Imagine if you could respond to market changes immediately. Imagine if you could change suppliers on short notice. Imagine if you could develop new features to test market in days or weeks and release those in blue-green tests the same day they are completed. Imagine if you were truly agile. The problem is, while some companies seem able to do these things, others struggle. Most companies that try to use agile approaches end up mired in complex processes. They recreate a different kind of bureaucracy with lots of roles and rules. It looks different from the old approach, but it is really the same. Big upfront planning, bureaucracy, complexity, rigidity. It is a quagmire. And it does not lead to agility. But what if there was a way for your organization to learn how to truly become agile? What if there was a definitive path that led to agility? What if there was a way to grow into it so that you don't have to start out with a hugely complex process, but instead gradually and inexorably progress toward increasing agility? There is a way. But there is no silver bullet. If you are looking for a quick fix to get you agility, you will not find it. Because agility is not the result of process. Despite what the many so-called agile frameworks tell you, there is no such thing as an agile process. Agility is when the leaders throughout your organization notice issues as soon as the issues arise, especially issues that cut across process boundaries or cut across products or even across business areas. Yet, that is commonplace today. Today, it is normal for issues to arise that cut across parts of your organization. Agility is when leaders at all levels observe those issues and reach across boundaries, gather the right people, drive discussions, and resolve those issues without delay. That's agility, and no process can do that. Because agility does not result from process. Agility results from behavioral norms and a culture of working toward the goal instead of focusing just on one's task. It results from habits of collective action. It results from the cultural expectation that people will collaborate about issues and resolve them quickly. Agility is the ability to deal with cross-cutting issues, issues that cut across process boundaries as they arise. But imagine if you could teach people how to behave differently. What if you could enumerate the agility-promoting behaviors that you want, and then teach people to embrace and internalize those? And what if you could analyze your culture and identify the traits that are blocking agile behaviors? You could then take steps to change those aspects of your culture. It can be done. And another challenge is that changing culture and behavior are not enough. People also need to know agile patterns for solving problems. If they only know waterfall approaches, then they will apply those. But if they know lean, flow, and DevOps patterns, they will apply those. But one still will not achieve agility unless the culture and behavioral norms are aligned to enable the agile patterns. Because nowadays, the flow is often disrupted by cross-cutting issues, and those issues need to get resolved right away to restore the flow. That's why agility depends on behaviors and culture. But imagine if you could teach them those things too. Imagine if people not only are supported by a positive culture and have become accustomed to agility-promoting behaviors as how we do things, but they also are armed with knowledge of lean, flow, and DevOps patterns for solving problems. Then one will achieve true agility. One will be able to respond to market changes immediately. One will be able to change suppliers on short notice. One will be able to develop new features to test market in days or weeks and release those in blue-green tests the same day they are completed. One will be truly agile. That's what constructive agility gives you. So instead of being mired in complexity and still not attaining agility, imagine if you could actually change the DNA of how people work by adjusting cultural traits, behavioral norms, and arming people with new knowledge. Imagine if you could really attain agility. Imagine you would be unstoppable. And imagine if it can be achieved merely by following a set of steps that take you on a learning journey in which you define your own processes. Instead of standing up a complicated Rube Goldberg machine, everyone embarks on a path of progressive learning and behavioral adjustment. 
That's what we can achieve with the constructive agility approach.